Okay, the first example we'll look at will be sort of an old school flam exercise. So pay attention to version A and see what you can find. Okay, now that seemed kind of alright, but if you really think about what just happened, if I played that on one drum, this is what it sounds like. So as you can hear, there's not a lot of expression with the heights for the stick or mallet heights along the y-axis. Now, if I think about that strictly on one drum and I refine the heights, it'll sound more like this. Okay, now that sounds better on one drum, so we'll see how it sounds around. It sounds a lot better, there's a lot more expression in it. So, the second time I played it around the drums, I was thinking specifically about how am I playing on the Y or the vertical axis. So if that's your priority, you'll always get better sound. So don't rely on the different tones of the drums or the, you know, the melody thereof to phrase you musically. Make sure that you are doing it correctly along the Y axis, being able to think about that.